Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a butt workout and I'm really excited because this is my first in the gym butt workout on my channel and they're one of my favorites to do. So this is kind of like a geared towards beginners in the gym workout because it will get your foot in the door with using a few of the equipment pieces but they're not too difficult to figure out how to use and then there are also some exercises where you don't need any equipment, you just need some weights. So those are easy for you to do in a little section on your own so you can kind of get comfortable with it. Of course, if you are more advanced, this workout is still great for you. I love doing this workout. I am so sore after doing this workout. It's a beginner friendly workout. If you're more advanced, do extra weight. If you're not as advanced, lower the weight or take the weight off completely if that's what you need. With all of that being said, let's get into this workout. We're starting off this workout with split squats on the Smith machine. This is going to help you to keep your balance, especially if you're a beginner. And if you're not, just throw on that weight and it will still be difficult, I promise. I put a platform underneath my front leg since I am more flexible, so it allows me to get a deeper lunge. But of course, you can opt to not include that if you would like. If you want this exercise to be focused more on your quad, push through your front leg. But if you want it to be a more booty and hamstring focused workout, then try and push through that back leg. We are focusing on higher reps for this one. So choose a weight that's still difficult for you, but you can get about 12 to 15 reps with the last two to three reps being very challenging and you, your legs might be shaking, but you can still get the full motion through. And then we are doing a four complete sets of this workout. All right, next we are doing a superset that, oh my gosh, this will make your legs and your butt so sore the next day. The first move in this superset is straight legged deadlifts with a kettlebell. I am standing on a platform again because I have more flexibility in my leg, so I am able to get a deeper stretch, but of course you can totally keep those out and do this exercise on the ground if you would like. This is really gonna target your hamstrings and the bottom part of your butt that connects to your hamstrings. And when you come up, it's gonna feel like a stretch in your hamstrings and you really wanna squeeze your glutes, get a nice squeeze in there before you go down for the next rep. And then without a break, you are immediately getting into these seated squats. I'm not sure if that's what they're called, but that's what we're going with today. Basically, you're gonna find a bench or a chair, whatever you have, preferably lower so that it's a deep squat. You're gonna sit down on it and then immediately pop back up, pushing through your heels and flexing your butt as you go. I want you to do 10 of the straight legged deadlifts and then immediately after that, do 10 of these seated squats. Then you can rest for one to two minutes and do the entire superset for a complete four sets. Now I want you to go grab a stool or a bench or a chair and some weights for your hands and we are doing a step ups. First, you're going to do 20 step ups using your right leg to push up and then immediately do 20 step ups using your left leg to push up. That is one complete set. We are doing three complete sets, which means today you are doing 120 step ups and I promise you your glutes and your legs will be on fire. And you wanna make sure to keep your back as straight as possible throughout the movement and you are really pushing through your leg and your glutes. So it's important to choose a height that is doable for you. Of course, it should be challenging, but you should be able to step up while keeping your back straight. Alrighty, moving on to our next machine for this workout, we are hopping on the leg press machine. Now be aware, there are a few different variations of this machine. So the one at your gym might not look exactly like this, but there should be a machine that does the same thing. And surprise, surprise, this is another superset. First, you're gonna put your feet at the ends of the platform with your toes pointed out. And when you come down, make sure that your knees follow your toes. Don't let them cave in, that's very important. And push through your glutes. And once you have done 10 of those, move your feet so they are right next to each other and you are going to do a another 10. Once you have done those two moves back to back, that is one set. And for this workout, we are doing a three to four complete set. Yay, we made it to the end of this, well, not the end of this workout. We still have one more superset. You guessed it. You probably just figured it would be another superset to end this workout strong. Actually, this is more like a tricep, I feel like. We are doing a squat into a side leg raise. So you're gonna squat down, lift up your right leg, squat down again, lift up your left leg, and that is one complete rep. I want you to do 10 reps of that. And then you can head over to a wall and do a 30 second wall sit. When you're doing this, make sure that your legs are parallel to the ground. That booty should be burning, your legs should be shaking. It should be very difficult. Hold that for 30 seconds and then you are done. You can rest for one to two minutes and do that complete superset three to four times. Hi again. I really hope you enjoyed that workout. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you want to check out one of my other workouts, I'll have them linked around my face so you can go check those out. And I think that's about it. So I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. That's my girl.